Hello guys! Today I will show you how you can easily draw yourself as a cartoon. We will first draw the outlines, color it, shade it and in the end create two different versions of the finished drawing. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe so you'll be notified about my next videos. Before we begin, you can download the color palette, brushes and the photo we will use via the link in the description below for free. Also, you can access exclusive tutorials and brush sets such as these ones on my Patreon page. You can check it out via the link below. With that being said, let's get started. Let's go ahead and open Procreate. Then click on Photo and insert the image that I downloaded from pexels.com. It will appear on the canvas. If we check Canvas Info, we'll see that the image is rather big and in high quality. So the number of layers available is actually low. I have 14, which is totally enough. But if you have less layers, you can just create a new canvas of habitual size and import the image using this option from Actions. I want to keep the original quality, so it looks better in the video. And I picked this particular photo, because the girl has wonderful multicolored eyes and long curly floating hair, so we can see the tips. This way the image is perfect for demonstrating the technique fully. But if you are going to pick your own photo to cartoon yourself for social media profile picture, note that it will look round on preview and it would be better if it was symmetrical regarding center. Alright, now let's create a layer right above the photo. And since I'm going to use black color for tracing, we better change the opacity of the photo to around 70%. So we can see the lines we are drawing. To pick black color, I'm going to the color disk and double tapping at the bottom. Today I will use a limited number of brushes. You can find them here in the bundle. And they are mostly modified Procreate brushes. I just didn't want to spend time on changing the settings in the process. Now let's grab modified technical pen and start tracing. I usually start drawing a portrait from the eyes because it's the most important feature. Let's set the size to 30%, but if your canvas size is different, the size of the brush will be also different. Make sure it's not too thick, but still visible from distance. And I will start with the right eye. I'll draw from this corner with low pressure and then increase it starting from the middle, so the eyes look more expressive. Then I'll make this triangle and outline the lower lashes. First I will make the line a little lower and then another one. And these two lines will be much thinner. Let's outline the iris. Draw the pupil and lashes. Since it is a girl, lashes will be big. And we are lucky, because on this photo they are clearly seen. So we can just trace. But if you don't see it on a photo, you just make them up. Just note that the lashes change their direction starting from the iris. And I will draw the lower lashes. which are normally thinner and shorter, so I'm not pressing on the pencil. And sometimes we can see two lashes are merging. From here they'll also change their direction. To add some depth, we can draw this big wrinkle above the eye. To draw the second eye, I first flip the canvas because I feel more comfortable, and then I will repeat exactly the same. Let's draw this wrinkle, and then flip the canvas back. I will continue drawing the nose. Here I will just draw these two lines to show the thickness. Then maybe this two more lines and outline the nostrils at the bottom. Here 
Here I'll do this. Make this hook and at the bottom the line can be dashed. I'll draw the second nostril. Let's draw one line here. But later we will fix it all using shading. Then I will outline the lips. Here I will change the pressure and also keep some gaps in the lines. Let's press more here. And then I will just draw this wavy line. Outline the lower lip. Also keeping the gap. This is done. I will start outlining the face. From here. We can also keep some spaces between the lines. So it's not like one line. I'll stop here because it will be covered by hair anyway and outline the ears. These parts that we can see. Maybe add some details. Let's outline the neck. The t-shirt and the headphones. I'm not making them very detailed. Just outlining the visible parts. So we get the idea. And here the lines can be also dashed. Let's draw a couple of lines here and on the opposite side. Not connecting them. Then I will outline it on the opposite side, exactly same way. I'll add a couple of lines on each side and then outline the t-shirt on the shoulders. Let's show the sleeves, then on the opposite side. I'm not outlining at all, because we will crop it. We can just draw these folds. One and the other one. Also, we can give a few prompts for future shading. Like we can see these two lines for the chin. Later I will remove them. Ok, let's now check what we got. Now that we have the outlines, we can start coloring. What is missing here is the eyebrows. So let's draw them. And we can totally do it on the same layer. I'll just go to the color palette and pick this brown color. I need to tell that all these colors are hand-picked from the photo. I just don't want to do it again. And with the same brush, I'll start drawing the following way. I will make the eyebrows a little fluffy, so our image looks more cartoony. And at the bottom, I'll just make it slightly curvy. Let's just try to fill the shape. To save some time, I will outline this eyebrow and copy and paste it in this menu. Then I'll flip it and drag it to the opposite side. I 
After that I will merge these two layers. And next I will paint the eyes, but I will need the reference. So first I will toggle this layer with the photo and change the background color. Let me pick some shade of light blue. Then I'll go to Actions and turn the Reference option in the canvas. I'll click on Image and import our photo. Let me zoom it so we can see the eye. Now I'll create a layer under the outlines and start drawing with the iris. I also handpicked the colors from the iris and first color will be this one from the second column. Let's just paint it inside the outline. To recreate the pattern that we see on the eye, I will first change the color into the slight one, go to selection and outline the shape in freehand mode. That will look like this. Let's close the selection and click color fill. After that I'll change the color into the next one on the right and go to selection again. Let's draw another shape. Let's also tap and it will be filled. After that I'll pick the next color that is a little darker and do the same, but this time I will draw very close to the pupil. Also close the selection and we will get this. Finally I will pick this dark color to draw the shadow that comes from the upper eyelid on the iris. This time I will use pencil and draw on top of the iris. Go a little to the sides. Now I'll create a layer under the iris and pick this light color. Let's paint the entire area under the iris. And for this small triangle, I'll pick the color below. Let's paint it and then go to adjustments. Here I'll select hue saturation brightness and pick pencil from the menu. First we need to set hue to 50%, so it doesn't change. And after that, I will lower the brightness to 41%. Let's draw a line on top of the shape. This way we don't have to alpha lock the layer or create a clipping mask. I will also add a small shadow around the iris and at the bottom. We can deselect and create a layer above all layers for the light reflections. I will also pick pure white color from the disk by double tapping. And I will draw these two shapes using the brush. The second one is on the side. Then I will grab eraser that is set to soft brush. Erase it on top, also at the bottom, to add some transparency. Then I will make the size very low and add these details. These are imitating the eyelashes. Now the first eye is totally ready. We can draw the second one. And I will do it exactly in the same way. Let's open the second eye on the reference and go to the layer with the iris. I'll first paint the iris with the base color and then draw the pattern using selection, starting with this light color. It will be filled. 
then doing what we did in the previous eye. Switching to the next color and painting more. After that I will grab dark color and add shadows using the brush. First on top and then go a little to the sides. Once the iris is done, we can go to the lay with these light areas to paint it. Then I will go to hue saturation brightness from adjustments and using pencil lower the brightness to 41% as it was before. I'll draw a line on top. Also draw slightly around the iris and a little at the bottom. Finally, we need to add these light reflections using white color. So I'm going to this layer on top and drawing these shapes. The first one and two on the sides. Then I will pick eraser and erase the shapes slightly, mostly on the edges. Then I will make the size 1% and add these details. For the lashes. Now the second eye is ready too. We can draw the lips. So I'll go ahead and merge these layers for the eyes. Create another layer. To draw the lips I will be using this color from the third column. And paint the lips using the brush. I'll just make the size big. And also press on the pencil, so the lines get even thicker. We can actually first outline it. And then just drop the color inside. After that I will go to adjustments and select hue saturation brightness again using pencil. So this is the way I'm going to create shading all over the painting. Setting hue to 50% and lower the brightness to 47%. I'll darken the upper lip on top also in the corners and create this shadow drawing along the line. I will paint the corners on the lower lip and also draw a line at the bottom. Let me darken this area a little more. And for now the lips are done. We can deselect. Next I will draw the hair. And for that we will need the photo. Let me go and flip it horizontal. I'll just like to draw to the right side. Well, we also need to create a new layer. And I will create it above all layers. As the base color for the hair, I'll use this dark color. I will also go to change the brush to textured ink. Let me set the size to around 28% 
and I'll start drawing from the forehead. Let's also draw to this side. Here I'm following the direction of the hair. Let's go more to the right. This brush is also very pressure responsive. So if you want to make thinner lines, you need to press less. First I'm just going around the face. Let's outline the ear. Then continue. I will be careful while outlining the headphones. If you don't feel 100% comfortable with this brush, we can totally change it to dry ink. That is also modified. It will make it easy to outline. Let's do the same on the opposite side. I'm outlining the ear and also the face. Go down along the neck. After that I'll go back to the previous brush. And this time I will start drawing from the tips, also repeating the shapes. I'll increase the brush size. And draw these hair strands. I'm just drawing what I see. Let's make sure there are no gaps between the strands. I will also draw on top. And I want to try to fill the shape inside. Ok, it worked. I'll paint these gaps on top of the hair. And paint on the left side. Also following the photo. I'll be very careful while painting closer to the face. Let's now check what we have. I'll just paint other visible gaps. Ok, now we can add more colors. And here I will need the reference, because we don't have the photo. I will now create a layer above this one and select the color number 6. With the same brush, I'll start painting more strands that are lighter. I will look at the reference photo to see how they go, but actually we can improvise. I'll start from here, try to follow the curls. And I will draw a few on the left side. We can make them a little thicker at some parts, so we also get the texture. After that I'll change the color into a lighter shade. And draw on top of these lines, but with a smaller size. Let's not forget to draw here. 
And after that I'll do this. I will go to the layer number 6, then to hue saturation brightness. And using pencil, I'll change the brush to soft brush first. That can be found in air brushing. Let's set the hue to 50% and lower the brightness a little. I'll set it to 45% first. Start shading it inside. So it is a little darker closer to the roots. After that I will go to the layer number 7 and to hue saturation brightness again. Let's set hue to 50% and first I will lower the brightness, let's say to 46%. Using the same brush, I'll start darkening the roots. Also draw here. We can play around with saturation as well. So I will just draw on some areas of these strands. Let's tap on the canvas and click apply. Here I have saturation set to 58% and brightness to 44. It was applied. Then I will set hue to 50% again and this time I will increase the brightness to add the highlights. So I set the saturation to 62% here and brightness to 62 as well. After that we can deselect. So the hair is ready. Now we can proceed with the face. We can now merge the layers for the hair and create a layer right above the photo. I will use this color for the skin. That is actually hand-picked and it is a mid-tone, not the darkest and not the lightest one. Let me flip it back and I will go to technical pen that we used. I will increase the size and start outlining the face. Here we don't have to be very accurate. Then I'll just go to the neck and outline it too. Then I will just drag the color inside and paint all the gaps. For shading I will use exactly same technique. So I'm going to hue saturation brightness with a pencil. Let's set it to 50%. And I will set saturation to 58 and brightness to 48. This will be our first shading layer. I will use the reference to see the location. So we have it here on the forehead. Then it goes this way. at the lower part of the chin. Here I will make this small triangle and then go to the right side. Here I will darken the eye. I'm just painting these areas. Here it'll go a little inside the nose and the eye is in shadow. Let's draw on the right side. So we have this cheekbone and the jaw. I will also paint it and the top part of the ear. The side of the ear is also in shadow and I will continue painting this area. This eye is also 
in darkness. I will paint under and here. I will darken this side of the nose and the lower part of it, including nostrils. We also have a shadow under the nose. Now I will draw these two big wrinkles. It will go this way on the right. And on the left side I'll make it bigger, darkening the entire area. Let's also add this shadow under the lower lip. And after that I will go to the neck. Here we can see this cast shadow from the face, it has this shape. Also it is darker on the sides. Goes under the t-shirt. And we have this shadow here, I'll make it very simple. Okay. This first layer of shading is done. We can tap on the canvas and apply. Then I'll set hue to 50% again, saturation to 41 and brightness to 52. Now I will add the highlights. Here we can see this light spot on the forehead that is transitioning to the nose. It goes down. Here we can actually pick monoline from calligraphy, which has a bigger size, so we can paint it faster. Then I will add this highlight on the nose, on the nostril, to go a little to the side. Then we can add the highlight on the chin. Actually here I'll change the brush to medium hard airbrush. So the edges will be a little softer. I'm painting these triangular shapes. Let's now apply it. And add the last shading layer. So the hue is at 50%. This time I will set saturation to 59 and brightness to 46. All these numbers are approximate. You can try different combinations and see what works for you. Right now I will go to the bundle and select textured ink. I want one of the shadows to be textured. So let's increase the size and I will start adding darker shadows here on the forehead, then it will go here on the jaw. I will darken this and right side. Also I will add darker colors here around the eyes. Go to the left. Here it is also darker. And on these wrinkles. Let's darken this part of the nose. Under it. And here. Also I will add a deeper shadow under the lip. I'm taking the location of the shadows all from the reference. Then I will go to the neck. Let's darken it here and more on the sides. Okay, finally we can deselect. 
I'll just grab this light color and add more highlights using the same brush. First I will draw under the eyebrows in the eye corners and this highlight on the nose, another one and I will highlight these areas. also on the ears and here let's try to pick pure white and add a few highlights on the lips for that I will go to the lay with the lips lower the brush size and highlight it here and at the bottom also I will paint the nostrils using this very dark brown and technical pen we can actually do it on the layer with the lips and as I said before I needed these lines only as a prompt so I will go to the layer with the outlines and erase them I think it looks better without. Finally, we can draw the headphones and the t-shirt. We can now merge these layers and create a layer above. But it needs to be located under the outlines. Then I will grab this bluish color together with modified technical pen and outline the headphones. Following the black lines. Let's fill this one and then outline the opposite part, also following the black lines. Then I will fill. After that I'll go to adjustments, hue saturation brightness and pick pencil. Set hue to 50%. And first I will add the highlights, so I'm increasing the brightness to 56%. And here I will mark all the parts that seem white on the photo. So it's here. Then this part is also highlighted, this one. And I will add a few highlights here. Let's draw a bigger shape inside. Then I will go to the opposite side. First I will highlight this border. So draw this way for this small part. And add the remaining highlights. This bigger shape. If you paint it too much, you just can go to eraser. And it will erase the highlights. Alright. Now we can tap on the canvas and apply it. Then add the shadows. So the hue needs to be set to 50% again. And I will lower brightness to 45%. We can see the shadow here. Then it is also dark inside the circle. So I'm just adding this volume. Now let's go to this side. So it is dark close to the neck. Also here. Let's draw a couple of lines this way. And also darken the edge. Finally I will deselect, pick white color and textured ink. I will add even more highlights with this white color, like here. Then 
and more on this edge. Now the headphones are ready too. We only need to paint the yellow t-shirt. So I will grab this color that I also handpicked from the photo and create a layer under the headphones. Let's also outline the t-shirt first using technical pen. Here we can be more careful. And then just drag the color inside it. Then I'll go to adjustments. Setting hue to 50% as always. And here I will set saturation to 63. And brightness to 47. Pick textured ink brush. Here I will darken this area. Then it will go on the shoulder to the right side as well. And I will add the shadows under the headphones. As we can see it here. I'll darken it on the sleeve, on this one. And draw on these folds. Now our drawing is ready. We can remove the reference. And I want to show you a few ways to present it. Well, first I will go to the background and set it to this color. After that I will merge all the layers for the drawing, duplicate it, Go to the layer below and increase its brightness to maximum, so it gets pure white. After that I will go to Gaussian Blur and apply it on the layer at 30%. After that I will go to Selection, switch to Automatic, disable color fill and tap on the background. After that I will click Invert. Go to the disk to pick pure white and tap on the brush. I will select soft brush from airbrushing and paint this white border. So we got a sticker. And the second way to present it is the following. Let me change the background color back to where it was or something like this. After that I will pick this color that we used for the background. Go to calligraphy, pick monoline and create a layer under the drawing. I will draw a circle and tap to make it perfect. We can scale it and place it the following way. Then I will fill it. Now let's duplicate the layer with the drawing. I will go to the circle and get it selected. Then I will invert the selection. Go back to layers, to the top layer and in its menu I will click clear. So it will be cut on the hair and on the t-shirt. But I want to keep the hair. So I will bring back this layer. Go here to selection, pick rectangle and outline it this way. Then I will swipe three fingers down and click cut. So we have the hair going outside and the t-shirt is cropped. You can pick whichever version you want to keep. And now our illustration is ready. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you'll be notified about my future videos. You can also access more content from me on my Patreon account. Link to it is in the video description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.